Are you a busy pre-med? Then you need to watch this video to get your life back in control and stop being busy and start being productive. Let's hit the intro and get right to it. But stop making excuses, stop whining, stop, right? Get at it. No excuses, just dominate. All right, guys, Dr. Andre Pine said, the study doc, and as always, I'm here to do what? Help you be more positive, help you be more productive in your pursuit of medical school, grad school, pre-health professionals, this is your spot. This is the place to be, and I'm here to help you. And today we're talking about the difference between being busy and being productive. So many of you guys as students, particularly pre-meds, pre-health students, you feel so busy all the time. Is that you? If it is, comment in the box, let me know, say busy in that box. Let me know that you are a busy pre-med. And what's crazy is we get so used to being busy as pre-meds that many pre-meds wear that as a badge of honor. They say, I'm busy, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And they brag about how they're running here and they're involved in this and all these things. And what I want to say to you guys now is someone who's on the other side of the process, right? I was a pre-med. I was in the same mindset as many of you guys, right? I cleaned it up my process. I got into Stanford Medical School, dominated Stanford Medical School. I've been helping students for almost 20 years now. One of the top downfalls for pre-meds is that they get spread too thin. They're doing too much. And the reason this happens is because as pre-meds, guys, we recognize that it takes a lot to get into medical school. And we want to make sure, because when you say you're a pre-med, you're telling everyone, I'm going to be a doctor. And so everything is riding on you becoming a doctor. And that pressure starts to build and you feel like you have to do more and more and more to get into medical school. And that's a fall Who's heard the expression, jack of all trades, master of none? Medical schools don't want jacks of all trades. They want well-rounded students, but they want students who have shown that they are excellent in one or more areas. They want students who have made an impact, who have made a difference, who move the needle, and the world is better for them having been on this planet. If you are out here doing 50 million different activities, you're in this club, you're in that club, you do this volunteering, multiple labs, all these things, you don't have time, you don't have energy to make an impact, to make a difference. And it's the difference makers who get into medical school. Think about it this way. You're in a club. You're in this club. You're a member of this club. Do you think being a member of a club is impressive to medical schools? Truthfully, if I said, hey, I'm a member of Flying Samaritans, is that impressive to medical schools? Absolutely not. So then my follow up question is then why do you think it's impressive to medical schools that you're a member of five clubs, of 10 clubs, of all these different societies? They don't care about that because there are no participation trophies for medical school. They don't reward you for being there. They reward you for mattering, for making a difference while you were there. So instead of just being a member, instead of even just being a president, right, empty title, what do you actually do as president? What do you actually do as a member of this club? How have you enriched the club? How have you enriched your campus? How have you enriched society through this experience that's the external the internal how have you grown how has this experience meant something to you professionally personally interpersonally how have you grown in this experience to be more of that doctor that medical schools are looking for that is the difference guys that's the separator and so I encourage all of you guys as we move through right to prune your activities there's a lot of guilt right we feel like to do more and more and more so there's all this guilt about either burning bridges or not having enough stuff on your resume if you quit things but I'm here to tell you it's important to prune and prune aggressively and regularly as you go through your pre-med journey to say, is this thing something I should be doing? Is this something that's moving me closer to my goal? Even better question, is this the best use of my time? Whether that's four hours or eight hours, however much time you're spending every week, is that activity the best use of your time? Or could those hours be better served somewhere else to make more of a difference, to help you improve more, to learn something new, to grow? If the answer is yes, cut that out. Right? It's not okay to be, oh, it's, it's an okay activity. It's gotta be the best activity for you, and that's a personal thing, but you've gotta be thinking about it critically. Because as a pre-med, like I said, there's all this pressure to do more and more and more, and so all these things look shiny, right? Like, oh, that's a new thing, oh, it's a new lab, oh, it's a the grass is always greener, it's a shiny object to grab onto, but it's like one of those angler fishes, my son loves angler fishes, one of those angler fishes with the bright light, like, in, was it Nemo? Like, ooh look at the bright light and all of a sudden these sharp teeth come out and they bite your head off and that's what happens to a lot of you guys med school hopes right is you're out here look at these shiny objects next thing you know you're slipping you're stumbling you're spread too thin overwhelmed and you're underperforming overwhelmed underperforming that's the combination if you are underperforming because you're overwhelmed if you feel overwhelmed you are going to be underperforming they go together so what i tell you to do is remove that overwhelm simplify say you know what this activity doesn't bring me joy this activity doesn't bring me growth this activity doesn't bring me opportunities to make an impact so i'm cutting it loose to make more room for my other activities so that I have more time, more energy, and more focus to give to those activities that are actually gonna move me forward towards medical school. As you watch this video, guys, it's not a passive channel, right? This is an active channel where we get better, we do actionable things. What I want you to do right now is take a second, close your eyes, close them, and ask yourself, what is the worst part of my week? 
What am I involved in that I hate going to? What am I involved in that I think is a waste of my gosh darn time? What do I dread? Everything you dread, everything you hate going to, everything you feel like is a waste of time, I want you to drop it immediately and politely, right? Send a nice email. Hey, let you know, I'm gonna be transitioning out. What does that timeline look like? How can I help you find a replacement? And so forth. But get out of the activity as soon as you can. All the while, I want you to ask yourself, hmm, how could my week be better? What could I be involved in where I have a unique skill set that I could actually bring something to? What can I get involved in that I have experience going Going back on that way, I can not come in at the novice level and come at a higher level and really make a difference. What opportunities out there would make me feel good in my heart that me being there mattered? What can I do? And the example is that I'll give you guys, and I'll get out of here and I'll be done. I'll end this video real quick. If you're enjoying this video so far, like the video right now. Let me know, Dr. Pine said, I appreciate you saying this because I felt that pressure. I appreciate you alleviating that pressure of do more, do more, do more, and telling me, hey, do a little less to actually do more. Less activities, more impact. But I had a student who was really into yo-yoing and was involved in all these different activities. And I was like, buddy, you love yo-yoing, do that. Like, well, how can I do that? And so this student actually put together a yo-yoing program for elementary schools where he would go and show them yo-yoing as an alternative to getting involved in drugs and smoking. And so it was like, like a dare campaign, like a mini dare campaign essentially, where he was out making impact with these students. And the medical schools, when he applied, loved it because it was something unique. It was him making an impact. It was him using his personal experience and something that no one else could do, he was doing. And he was applying it in a novel and different, right, a distinct way that medical schools weren't used to seeing. And so it was super impressive to them and he got into a bunch of medical schools because of that right and having good everything else but that was a major feather in his cap for his application so i encourage you to do the same find your passion make the impact grow get better and get into medical school if you have any questions guys i'm always available take a second leave a comment question ask me and if you're ready to get better and get expert advice get to my website premedproductivity.com you need no more searching no more feeling lost no more feeling overwhelmed no more underperforming. Instead, we're going to over deliver. We're going to over perform. We're going to exceed expectations because you know exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it to the best of your abilities, guys. I'm Dr. Pineset. How do we always end these videos? No excuses, just dominate, guys. See you next time. That's it for another episode of the Study Doc Show. Show your love by smashing the like button and commenting in the box below. Today is the day, guys. No more excuses, no more complaining. You're going to take your future into your own hands. You're going to dominate. You're going to be successful. I challenge you. What are you going to do today to make your life better? Get to my website, premedproductivity.com. Grab a free ebook, sign up for a free webinar. And if you're really ready to transform, enroll in one of my life-changing courses or coaching programs. You have greatness inside you. Let me show you how to unlock it so you can dominate and make your dreams a reality. No excuses, just dominate.